Hey, you wonderful health enthusiast, D here, and today we're diving into a topic that's got me seriously concerned, both as a health expert and a woman and a mother. Early menarche. It's going to be a short episode, and I'm going to be really to the point. And if that term sounds like medical jargon, don't worry, I'm about to break it down for you in plain English, but trust me, this isn't just about periods starting sooner. This is about our daughters, our sisters, our friends, and our own long-term health. So grab a cup of tea, get comfy. (laughs) It's just gonna be a few minutes long, but we're gonna have a real talk about what's happening to our bodies. Bodyholic with D, your one-stop shop for science-backed well-being breakthroughs. Forget the fads, ditch the myths. We are here to get you on the fast track to feeling and looking fantastic. So get ready to dive deep into the real deal on your health, happiness, and everything in between. Let's go. All right, let's get personal. How many of you remember getting your first period? Maybe it was a surprise. Maybe you were super prepared. But I'm willing to bet most of you were around 12 years old or 13. And that used to be the norm. But lately, I've been hearing and seeing more and more girls starting their periods as young as nine years old, 10 years old, but that's very young. And that, my friend, is not a blip on the radar. It is a massive shift with potentially huge health consequences. So I dove into the research as usual, you know me. And here's a wake up call. I'm going to talk to you about the science-backed information, and I want us to together dive into the research. So there was a major uh, study published in JAMA in 2020 that found that early menarche is associated with increased risk of all-cause mortality. That means that girls who start menstruating earlier may have shorter lifespans overall. But it's not just about the lifespan. It's also about the quality of life, too. There's research from the Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism that was published in 2017 that linked early menarche to a laundry list of health issues from heart disease to stroke to high blood pressure to type 2 diabetes and even certain cancers like breast cancer and ovarian cancer. And it doesn't stop there. Girls who experience early menarche also are more likely to struggle with mental health issues like depression and anxiety. Basically, what I'm presenting to you is a domino effect that early period is getting your early period is setting off. It's setting off a cascade of health problems later in life. So I want to talk about what is driving the early menarche. Let's get into the cause. What is causing this alarming trend? It's not just one thing. It is the perfect storm of factors. We have the obesity crisis. We all know that we're in the midst of an obesity epidemic, right? It's not just affecting adults though. Increased body fat in girls leads to higher levels of estrogen. And that's a hormone that triggers menstruation. There was a 2013 study in pediatrics that even showed how specific body fat measurements could predict early menarche. And to me, that's a really sobering reality check. There are environmental toxins. Think about all the chemicals we are exposed to on a daily basis. Some of these, like those found in pesticides and and plastics, are known to be endocrine disruptors. They mess with your hormones, potentially tricking a young girl's body into starting puberty too soon. There's uh, sugar overload, right? Those sugary cereals, the sodas, the processed snacks. They're not just bad for our waistlines. They can spike insulin levels, which messes then with other hormones and can kickstart puberty way earlier than it should. There's stress and trauma. Oh, research is revealing a, lo- a big link between early stress and early menarche. And this is heartbreaking to me to think that trauma can have such a lasting impact on a young girl's body. I don't want to leave you with that. I want us to take action. What can we actually do? 
So I don't wanna leave you feeling helpless. I know that's pretty much what you're feeling right now. Same here, but we can actually make a difference. Here's what I want you to start doing. Prioritize healthy weight. Let's focus on healthy eating habits and regular exercise for our girls. Not just about weight loss, but it's really about overall well-being. Help her choose real food. Help her ditch the processed junk and opt for nutrient-dense foods. Our bodies and our hormones will thank you. Our bodies will thank us. Detox your life. Be mindful of the products you use. Organic when possible. Okay, I'm, I'm not big on that, but I try. We want to just decrease the exposure to harmful chemicals. And then we want to manage our stress. We need to teach our kids how to cope with stress, whether it's yoga or meditation or spending time in nature. Just take your kids to nature. Our mental health is just as important as our physical health. Now, if you're looking for a supportive community and expert guidance on how to navigate all this. So, of course, Bodyholic is here for you. There's even a text me link where I'm going to get back to you with resources. Uh, there's, there's a beautiful community in Bodyholic, but there is more and I can link you to them. Let me know if I can help. Remember that knowledge is power. And the more we understand about early monarchy, the better equipped we are to protect our girls and ourselves. So let's keep the conversation going and let's empower each other to really make healthy choices. Thank you so much for tuning in to Bodyholic with D. Don't forget to subscribe. You never wanna miss an episode. I get into whatever is real, whatever is serious and whatever I need you to hear. So please subscribe and share and until next time, Stay strong and healthy and remember that your body is your temple, so treat it with love.